Hey guys, at a new location today. Um, this is an older part of the town that I live in in Marysville, California, and they just burnt this this field. So all the tall grass and weeds that were taken over are now gone. So I'm gonna get out here and see what I can find today. I'll get back at you at my first good target. Okay, guys, I just got a nice 28, 29 signal here, and I popped this out of the hole. And just a piece of aluminum flashing, it looks like. Okay, junk. On to the next one. Okay, guys, I'm not 100% sure because I haven't wiped it down yet, but I think I might have a dog tag here. An old military dog tag, maybe. No, it's got some weight to it. It's not just a piece of. Uh, like aluminum siding, it's got weight to it. It's got stripes on both sides. I don't know, guys. We'll get it home, get it cleaned up, take a closer look at it at the roundup, see if we can't identify this. Alright, guys, on to the next one. Okay, guys, I just dug this one here up. It's coming up a nice solid 30 on the VDI. It's not super, super old, but it's not modern either. It's an old padlock. Let's see if I can get a stamp off of it here. Eagle. It's an eagle lock. Yeah, the keyhole doesn't look like a modern type keyhole. It's got a little bit of age to it. Looks like it was cut and then thrown down here, abandoned. All right, it's a pretty cool find. Uh, so far, I've got a lot of trash. There's a lot of aluminum down here, a lot of cans. Um, I did get a couple. I got this uh, shotgun head stamp. I didn't get that on camera. It's a 20 gauge, it's one of the old paper wads. That's an older one. Got a 22 cartridge. And then I'm not sure what this piece here is. I think it might be copper. I'm not sure. It looks like it's broke. Broke off at one end there. And then of course that, that tag of some sort. But yeah, let's keep pressing on and see what else we can find here, guys. On to the next one. Alright guys, I got some sort of cap or something here. Thought it was a nut. But I don't think it goes all the way through. I don't think it has a hole in the center. Oh, maybe it does. It's just packed full of dirt. I don't know, it looks solid on this one side here. Yeah, it's solid on one side. Oh, no, it does. It goes all the way through. It was just a bunch of dirt packed in there. Just some old nut. Ah, nuts. Alright, on to the next one, guys. Okay, guys. Just got back from the hunt today, um, got a new permission. Um, this is a permission that I have been chomping at the bit at for quite some time. And I finally got to uh, talk to the guy, but yeah, he gave me permission. And um, I was down there for just a couple hours, just kind of getting a feel for for what was down there there's a lot of garbage a lot of modern modern trash a lot of aluminum cans and pull tabs and bottle caps and I'm just weeding through it um, I, I ended up hauling a lot of garbage out of there but these are some of the interesting pieces that I did find out of there today um, this piece here I'm not a hundred percent sure but it looks like it might have been something maybe for an awning where maybe it was mounted to a mobile home or a trailer or something or a building I don't know and because it looks like this at one time this piece here 
would have hinged up and down and maybe there was a bar that went through there so I'm, I'm guessing that maybe that was for an old awning or something um, the lock I thought the lock was going to be a lot older than what it actually is I cleaned up the the bottom of it here where you can see where it says Eagle and then off the top of it I was able to get a patent number and I looked up the patent number and it was dated uh, 2004 so that's not very old I thought it was gonna be a lot older um, not sure what this piece here is but I thought it was kinda cool got an old 20 gauge paper wad head stamp that's an older one this is a western um, let me see if I can get a make on this it says Super X and it's made in the USA 20 gauge but that's definitely an older one uh, 22 cartridge this piece here I'm not sure what that is but it came up on my machine as copper and it's just a solid it's heavy just a solid piece of copper I guess I did end up finding one square nail down there broken square nail and then this piece here has me puzzled it looks like it might have been a cap off of something because you can tell where it's there's an opening at that end and there's a seam at that end or a, not an opening but a seam where it might have been a like a tube shaped item at one time and it's been flattened out been ran over or something but I was trying I cleaned it up and trying to get some ID off of it and I'm, I'm not coming up with anything but it just feels I don't know it feels like like an aluminum maybe just real thin this piece here had my heart pounding when I first got it out of the hole I thought for sure I had me an old military dog tag and it's just a piece of brass I got it cleaned up there's no markings or anything on it that can identify it it's just a piece of brass with these really cool lines on it but yeah at first I thought man I thought for sure I had me an old military dog tag that would have been sweet anyways um, the caretaker down there his name is Kevin he invited me to come back again he's interested and fascinated with what I found today and he wants me to come back down and, and see what else I can find so I'll work that area a little bit more here and there you know maybe just work sections of it alright guys uh, today's shout out at the end of this roundup is going to be uh, I'm going to throw out straight up metal detecting straight up metal detecting um, I'm subscribed to his channel I watch his videos I'm not sure exactly where he's out of but um, he's got 665 subs right now and climbing um, he joined YouTube back in 2015 he's got almost 90,000 views total um, he puts out some really cool videos he does metal detecting um, in the off season he'll do uh, coin roll hunting and then he also does cyber det detecting if you're into that um, it's a metal detecting video game that he puts on his channel it's kind of cool um, and then he just recently got a new camera and he's he was experimenting with um, live streaming and now he's doing live streams so I'm looking forward to those and, and watching his live stream videos um, anyways if you guys get a chance go over to straight up metal detecting site uh, channel go over to straight up metal detecting's channel uh, hit that subscribe button for him check out his videos don't forget to click the like buttons on it support him show your love alright guys thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one